Yeah. It's hard to find good help these days, camera people, you know, out here like that right here. Yeah. Dr. Tim Melson, candidate for state senate one, going all over the area, and you just told us what your agenda is for the weekend, so how's it going so far with about a week and a half to go? It's, uh, it's going well. I'm ready for the finish line, though. I'm ready to get to July 15th, actually the 16th, and... Uh, Hopefully it's going to come out uh, with my way, but we'll see. You know, when you interview people, you know, we've interviewed you four or five times now, you have to ask kind of the same questions sure. from time to time. But what is the thing you want people to know about Dr. Tim Melson? Well, I want them to know that um, I'll represent Limestone County. You know, it's not uh, a uh, Lauderdale versus Limestone. You'd think this was old Coffee High School in Athens <laughs> high school football game, yeah, the way Coffee people are Ranch taking it. Yeah. yeah, and, uh, you know, it's not. It's, it's about representing everybody, and I'll represent every little bit of the district I, I i hope every little community thinks i live in their community whether well, and i think you've done a great job getting that message out and like yesterday when your opponent was on and he, he brought up even when jonathan was in it too sure. you guys have run a super super yeah clean campaign sure there's no reason not to i mean i i'm sure they've heard things about me and i've heard things about them and it's not an issue it's not a uh, able to do the job issue and uh, so I, I've, I've kept it clean and they have too and uh, i think that's the way it, it should be. One of the things uh, your opponent was bringing up yesterday was bringing up to, to trying to compare job loss in Lauderdale County to how well things are going in Limestone County. All right. Well, and I understand that, and I, I would say that no disrespect to Chris or anybody else, but I would think that uh, with Redstone Arsenal and Madison County growing the way it is, and it's going to be easier to get jobs in this part of the district than it is the west right. part of the district. and. Uh, you know, we consider job losses that are, well, 4,000 jobs is quote number there, but, uh, you know, we're counting Champion, which is in uh, south of um, our district. It's over, you know where it's at. Right. It's over north, near Cortland. Uh, but, but people drive to these different areas, so it's considered a job loss in that area. And, and just like y'all consider Remington a job game for Athens, but Remington's not out here in the industrial park here. It's over right. in Madison, so, you know. So, if, yeah. you know, if things go like that now, you know, as we get down to the final thing here and you get people to come out and vote and they're predicting a very low turnout, sure. so you got to get your people out. Right, right. We're, we're doing all the typical get-out-to-vote drives, caller ID, I mean, uh, voter ID, rather, and um, uh, doing the, the encouragement to get them out. And, 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 and people like your situation and the people that don't know, I mean, you, you're very close to death. Sure. So what, years ago, what does exactly a 4th of July and an Independence Day celebrate? I mean, we're having a small right. version of it here, but there are big things planned for here on out to the weekend. Right. How does that affect a, a guy like you who's well, been near death? Well, this day is, and is special for the country, but I'm telling you, every day is a bonus for me. You know, there's not a day I don't get up and be thankful still to be here. And uh, so anyway, anyway this, this time of year is great. It's about America. But... Uh, Hey, every day is a bonus for me. Let me ask you something I've asked you every time. Sure. Why should people vote for Dr. Tim Melson? Well, I think they should vote because they'll they'll find that I'm just one of them, wanting to represent them. I'm uh, got the same core values of the valley, you know. The and on average, you know, there's always extremes in both. But the the conservative and the family and the and the uh, idea of education for our kids and and things like that, I, I fall in line. I think with most of the people in the valley. Well. Again, Tim, a uh, pleasure, man. Hey, I appreciate nice it. Nice work you, and uh, y'all get out and vote on the 15th, Dr. Tim Melson. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back. we got some lots of folks here we ain't talked to yet. We'll check in with them in just a second. Plus, it's time to eat. Y'all, hang on. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light 